Hey, how's it going? Kenny here and welcome back to the Austrian Adventure. And up in today's episode, we have games away to Rapid Vienna and then we have Porto away in a massive game in the Champions League. So first things first, the league season is going really well, apart from the last game, get to that in a second. But we're actually unbeaten for the season. It's always stre also stretched for, um, from the championship group from last season as well. I think it's actually 23 matches unbeaten now in the league. Of course, we played 13 games this season and 10 in the championship group. Yeah, because the last time we lost was at home to Hartberg, which effectively was the last game of the regular season last season. So... 23 matches unbeaten in the league, which is uh, very, very nice. Of course, I don't think we're going to break the record, though, because the record is quite insane. Not from Red Bull Salzburg, from, um, who was it again? Wiener Sport Club, that's what it is. So it's a, a Vienna club, I'm guessing, with a uh, Wiener there, uh, from 1957 to 1959. 41 matches unbeaten. So, yeah, it's going to be hard to uh, break that record, that is for sure. I don't know they're playing in the Regional League East now. There was a, uh, a big team at one point back in the 50s mainly, but, yeah. Anyway, enough talk of them. In terms of the recent results, as I said, it's going quite well until the uh, the last game here in the league. But So, of course, in the last episode, we failed to get a win in that episode, unfortunately. But we did get two half-decent results. Away to Salzburg, Drew Neil Neil. Okay, could have won that game. Uh, but saying that, there's, not even a, there's only one highlight in that game. So, yeah, it's pretty pathetic. But a draw away to Salzburg, I've heard worse. Uh, away to Club Bruges, though, we drew the game 2-2. A game we could have won, to be fair. But again, we're 2-1 down in that game. So, the draw the game 2-2 wasn't a disaster. Uh, after that, we played Marchveld Donu. Wow, that's just way too many vowels in a row there. <laughs> FC Marchveld. Uh, beat them 6 0 away from home in the Austrian FA Cup second round. Sure enough, we were braced. Grill were braced in that game as well. After that, we played Admiral Wacker Modeling away. Beat them 3 0 very comfortably. Then we played Porto at home in the second group game. And unfortunately, we drew the game 1 1, uh, which was really, really disappointing, actually, because we. Dominated Porto in this game. Absolutely dominated them. And it's only kind of the first two games where only two points is really disappointing. As you see here, when I say we dominated the game, I mean we dominated the game. 26 shots, 8 on target with 1.84 XG. And we saw one thing from Porto in the game. Uh, they scored from it. As you see there, Rocco in the 41st minute. One shot on target in the game, 0.14 XG. We absolutely destroyed them. So this could be the game where we look back on and say, you know what? This is the game that cost us. Saying that though, we beat Porto away from home in today's episode. Uh... Then that could make up for this pathetic draw at home to them because we should have, we shouldn't have just won the game. We should have absolutely battered them four or five nil. So it was really really disappointing. We uh, bounced back after that game though. Beat Altac five nil at home very comfortably. Philip Hellman with a hat trick in this game, which was uh, very nice to see. Uh, after that we played Wolfsburger away. Beat them 3 2. Uh, we went 1 0 down in the game through Owusu. Uh, pinned uh, Stein with the own goal, and Louis Barry put us 3 1 up and uh, very much deserved as well. They got a late consolation goal through Rasmus Holland in the 94th minute. Plays for Atlanta these days, I believe. So we won the game 3 2. It looks like a bit of a tight game, but it wasn't really. We dominated the game. It was uh, a much deserved win there for us. After that, we played PSG at home. The game I said I was going to feature in, the, uh, in this episode, but. I did change my mind, and uh, I'm happy I did change my mind because we got absolutely battered in this game. We lost 4 1 at home to PSG. Not really too much of a surprise. Don't think we were as bad as the scoreline suggests, though. Uh, they were just clinical in this game. Neymar, Vlajevic, Keane, and Soler on the score sheet there. Chukwemeka got, a, I'll say, a late consolation there, but job was uh, well done for them at that point. After that, though, we beat a team 4 1. We beat Sturmgratz 4 1 away from home, which is very nice. Again, we went 1 0 down in this game, but pinned with a goal, shooting off with a brace, and another Philip Hellman goal in that game. After that, they played SK and St. Poulton at home in the Austrian FA Cup third round. And uh, this was a little bit dodgy. Went 2-0 up in the game in the first 10 minutes. Everything seemed to be going quite well. Then they pivoted us back to 2-2. Goal from Gibawa and Dizdarovic, our former player, of course. And uh, SK and St. Poulton actually had four of our former players starting in this game. Schiffel, who was our fourth choice centre-back the first two seasons. Uh, uh, Manfred Fischer, we only sold him this season to them. Same as Dizdarovic. And also Marco Juricin. They're all playing for St. Poulton. So a little bit of a reunion there. But we came back after... Uh, Going 2-2, and we scored another three goals. Sure enough, Chukumaka and Gutierrez made a comfortable win in the end, so that was nice. But a bit dodgy, that game. Very dodgy, actually. After they played Hartberg at home, beat them 4-0 very comfortably. Uh, Brace from Sure enough, Rissnitz his first goal of the season. He's been very poor this season. And a Peter Pin goal as well. After they played PSG away, got battered 4-0. Vlajevic were bracing that game. And just for the episode, as I said, poor result. At home to SV Reed. unfortunately, we drew the game. Nil, nil. So, first, of course, we've got Rapid Vienna away from home. Um, I do fancy our chances of winning this game. They've been quite poor this season. They're down in fifth place, and also our record against them is insane. So, hopefully, we can do the business here. Away to Porto as well. We need to win that game. Well, we need to get at least a draw. If we don't draw the game, we are out. One player I'd like to mention 
uh, is a new signing, Peter Pind. He has been absolutely sensational this season. He's played 15 games so far this season. He's got eight goals and nine assists. And he's a centre midfielder. Yes, he does take... Um, he has been taking the corners. Uh, it, no, it, no, Barry takes the free kicks. So he hasn't been really taking free kicks either. He's taking the corners, yes, but... He's been sensational, absolutely sensational. In the league, he's played 11 games, got seven goals and eight assists, 15 goal involvements in 11 games as a centre midfielder. It's just insane. He's absolutely brilliant. Uh, he's 19. Also, the great thing about Pind is he wanted the minimum fee release clause, but it was one of those where I could actually cancel it and give him a little bit more wages. So, very happy to pay him 22.5k a week and give him a minimum fee release clause. So that's brilliant. So, Pind, we haven't got to worry about losing him unless um, the board accepts an offer, which hopefully they will not do. So, Pind has been absolutely sensational this season. In terms of other players, well, Gutierrez, uh, no surprise seeing him on top of the list there. Four goals and three assists. Not that he's known for his goals and assists, but he's been brilliant this season as well. Sure enough, 16 goals in just 10 starts this season. He's been amazing as well. Uh, Louis Barry, five goals and 11 assists. He's been great. Alexander's got seven assists this season. He's gone a little bit under the radar, actually. He didn't really know that, so that's brilliant from him. Uh, other than that, not too many other great performances. But, yeah, all in all, the season's been going great. Duras has been poor. You see that 6.53 from eight games is pathetic. Uh, Tukremika has not been good enough either. Also, Ristinich played 12 games, only got one goal and three assists this season. He hasn't put in too many terrible performances, but he needs to start adding some more goals and some more assists to his game. But anyway, let's get to this game then. The Vienna Derby away to Rapid Vienna. As I said, we've got a great record against them. We've only, effectively, only lost to Rapid Vienna once in the series in 90 minutes. Of course, they beat us in the final of the, uh, of the FA Cup last season, but in 90 minutes, they've only ever beaten us once. So hopefully... We can uh, continue that record today. And this is the team for today's game. We've got Fructal in goal, Brinkman right back, El Shiwi left back, Amamun and Vaca centre backs. We've got Pind, Damaku, and Grill midfield. Barry on the right, Ristich on the left, and Shurinov up front. So as you can see, our centre back partnership is not looking amazing, it has to be said. Amamun starting there, well, but yeah, when he has played, he's only played three games this season. And yes, he played against a weak opposition, but he played in the league as well against uh, SV Reid. Yes, we drew 0 0, but he did really well defensively with 7.5 there. Um, He's been a bit of a problem this season. He's been a bit of a problem. He's uh, he's moaning a lot. He's having four negatives. Uh, he just missed training last week because he was out clubbing late at night and didn't turn up for training. But saying that, with all his off-the-field antics, when he has played in the three games, uh, he's done pretty well. Albeit against weaker opposition or not, he's done pretty well. So I'm hoping he can do something for us today against Rapid Vienna. Uh, he's starting today because... Well, Gutierrez needs to rest. He's played lots of games. Uh, and also, Letton needs to rest as well. That's why I'm playing with these two at the centre-back. And of course, Rapid Vienna away is a big game for us. But really, what is the bigger game? Away to Rapid Vienna or away to Porto? Porto away in three days' time. So we need those two for Porto. So that's what those two are playing today. Other than that, the team is looking quite good. As we said, the front three is almost the strongest front three. Although they're leaving a little bit hit and miss, especially the last couple of games. So, yeah, a little bit... Well, I wouldn't say nervous about this game. But I'm not as confident as I normally would be against Rapid Vienna. But saying that... I could be surprised here. Rapid Vienna away from home. Will we win this game? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Away to Rapid. Uh, hopefully we can win this game. We shall see that we're in the green stadium today. But hopefully we can uh, send the young Violets home uh, happy again. Vacan wins ahead of there early on. Three minutes in. And they've already got a first highlight on the match. Centre back partnership does scare me a little bit, I have to be honest. Letner's been quite good this season. He's been uh, really impressive. And obviously Gutierrez just speaks for himself, doesn't he? He's, he's by far... The best centre back in the league. He's an absolute. He's got six cats for Argentina, and he's 19, played in the Austrian Premier Division. So it just proves how good he is. Anyway, here's Vaca. He's done quite well though, Vaca, to be honest. So quite happy with him. Anyway, here's El Shiwi. Three minutes in. Can we take an early lead here? Ristinich only scored one goal all season so far, and only got three assists. Nowhere near as good as last season, but still a long way to go in the season yet for him to make up. And here he is, Barry. I think he's going to score from there. It's a bit of a, that was a strange, strange highlight. Uh, please remember, guys, hit that like button if you like this video. And also hit that subscribe button as well. Really help me out. And he much appreciate it as well. So, 16 minutes in here. Rapid Vienna still yet to have a shot in the game. I wouldn't say we're dominating the game, but we are creating more of the chances. Now I say that, here's Pietkovsky. Talking of centre-backs, he's quite a good centre-back at this level, to be honest. Anyway, here's Louis Barry. Win the ball back. Had a good season so far, Barry. We've been a bit, little bit hit and miss the last four or five games. He needs to start getting back on top of his form. Damaku's there to cut out the, uh, the ball there. Here's Brinkman to Ammerman. Here's Vaca. Back to Ammerman, the uh, the problem boy. Going clubbing late at night. Who do you think he is? Missing training. Here's Ristinich. Back to Vaca. He's back to Ristinich. As I said, he's he's all these off-field antics, always moaning. His training rating's poor as well. When he's come in, yes, played three games, but he, he's, he performed well. So he performs well again today as well. Then... Um, I don't really care what he does off the pitch. He's not really got very high potential anymore. He's just here as a fourth-choice centre-back. So, 
Anyway, talking of him, Coity gets past him. No, he's not even there. I don't think he's known for his pace. So 21 minutes in, we're 1-0 down here. Not a great start to the Vienna Derby. We've been the better team in the game. They get one opportunity, though, and they score. Yeah, Aaron gets just gets done for pace here. Massively done for pace. He looks so slow there, doesn't he? How slow is he? I think he is quite slow, actually. I don't know. We'll find out after this highlight. They're not going to hit us for two, are they, in two minutes? Surely not. Here's Pickler. Oh, we don't lose to these boys. Fructor with a save there. I need to start getting a grip here, boys, I think. There are some more. This centre-back partnership is coming back to bite me a little bit here. But saying that, even if we lose the game, I, I, I'm not, I don't regret it. We need those centre-backs uh, available for the Porto game, definitely. That Porto game is massive for us in terms of the season. I can't, I can't see anyone apart from us winning the league title, to be honest. I can't, I can't see it happening. Anyway, Amman's having a good game of a seven there. As I said, he's playing well again. Um... Yeah, 10 acceleration, 10 pace. So he's not really known for his pace, Aaron, unfortunately. Anyway, long way to go yet. 28 minutes in. We're 1-0 down, but a long, long way to go yet. Oh, my word. That should be 2-0 right now. Fructo was just basically just said, score a goal. Have a goal. And Vaca misses his header was poor, but Fructo, very lucky then. We've got, oh, this is, well, nine times out of 10, this goes in the back of the net. Guaranteed. As you see there, we're 2-0 down in the Vienna Derby. It is not going very well, is it? This is pretty darn horrendous, actually. Oh, dear. This is problematic. Wow. Coming to this game, 23 games unbeaten from the last season. And I think that is in jeopardy now, to be honest. With Shocking. Shocking. Here's Tamaku. Can we get a goal back before half-time at least? Here's Brinkman to Barry. Back to Brinkman. Now, here's Barry. The front three have been poor the last few games, as I said. Okay, we played PSG in there, but against SV Reed, should be scoring goals against them. His wrist is a poor season. A nice finish. The, go the goalkeeper absolutely crapped himself there. I have no idea what he's doing. That was a bizarre goal, but I don't know what the keeper's doing. I think he saw a ghost, to be honest. Just watch the keeper here. This is, uh, this is very, very bizarre. Very, very bizarre indeed. Oh my. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? And he's just a little dance artist. Like, oh, he's like, yep. You see me? Scared of ghosts. Anyway. He's got a goal back for half time. That gives me a little bit more confidence about this game now. But we are still losing the game 2 1, which is uh, clearly nowhere near good enough. Get your act together, boys. Um, Tamaku's been poor, but say, hey, let's start the second half. Come on. Next goal is crucial here. 15 minutes into the second half, and we've seen absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, Louis Barry can come off, and we'll bring on we'll bring on Stefan Beck. Also, Grill can come off as well, and we'll bring on Alexander for him. We'll see the two goals today, but the two centre-backs have done quite well, apparently. So, let's not, let's not blame them, shall we? 20 minutes to go. It's just not much is happening in the game. Nothing at all, really. Uh... Final change. Do I bring on Hellman? You know what? I do bring on Hellman. I bring him on for Ristonich. 20 minutes to go. This is our first loss in 23 games. Looks like it could be. If they score a third goal here, then it probably is going to be. Here's Pickler. Yeah, second, only, only the second ever time we lost to Rapid Vienna as well in 90 minutes, of course. But can we stop that today? In this highlight. Well. Oh, hold on. They give the ball out to Beck. Oh my word, get in, what a strike. What a strike. I was about to say, you know what, this donut's going to shoot from far out like that and waste his opportunity. But I didn't say anything. He did shoot from far out like a donut, like I thought he would do, but he hit the back of the net and it was a great strike. So, who am I to say anything to bet? Get in there, off the bench. He makes it 2-2. Two -two. Is there question marks over the keeper again here? Question marks over the defenders, that is for sure. It's like in the middle of the goal, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's a bullet goal though, isn't it? That's a, that's a bullet goal. The keeper probably should save it, but... It's a fantastic strike. If that was in the top corner, that'd be goal of the season. Well, we pick him out to 2-2. Two -two. Four minutes to go. Back on the highlight again. Pinned with a, a rare poor pass there. But here's Gartler. Can we get a late winner here? Or do we late heartbreak? We shall see. Gartler kicks the ball long. <sighs> Fructal saves it. Ammerman was done like a kipper there. Done like a kipper. Should be better in the air already, six foot four, so that's that shouldn't be happening really, should it? 
Rafferty got a corner here. Schaub to take it. Over the bar. It's a corner. Yes, yeah, another corner. There we are. Slight little patch for us. Don't know what they're doing, to be fair. They're going a bit mental. I think that's a goal kick, this one. Companies, you know what? After being 2 0 down, away to Rapid, I'll, I'll be happy with a draw here. I'll certainly take a draw. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not the best result in the world, but I'll take it. Uh, the back five actually did quite well today. It's a bit bizarre to see that, all of them in the green, since we see two goals. So, don't know what quite know what's happening there, to be honest. But anyway, they did quite well, apparently. Alan, again, as I said, all his off field antics. He got a 7.2 today. It looked like he made a couple of mistakes, but according to the manager, he didn't. So, I'm guessing he played quite well again. So, you know, 2 2 after being 2 0 down. I'll certainly take it. And effectively, we're playing the two hardest games of the regular season. The way to Salzburg, the way to Rapid Vienna. And we drew both of them. So you've got to be quite happy with that, really, haven't you? So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, sad. I'm not happy, but I'm satisfied. You know, 2 0 down. If we said to me 2 2 before the game, I'd be a little bit disappointed. So I expect us to beat them every time we play them, to be honest. But after being 2 0 down, I'll take it. The problem is, though, during our last two games, Salzburg win their game in hand. They'll go two points behind us only. So. That'll be quite disappointing to how much we dominate the, uh, the league this season. So, yeah, remain top of the league, of course, after drawing away to Rapid Vienna. But if Salzburg beat Altec at home, which they should do, they'll only be two points behind us. Saying that, though, before we go for our winter break, we have to play Salzburg at home, which will, uh, uh, if we win that game, we'll go for at least five points clear again at the top, which should be absolutely great. But anyway, guys, make sure you stick around because got, we've got the big one coming up next. Away to Porto. We need to get at least a draw in that game. Otherwise, we're out of the Champions League. Will we do it? We'll find out in a sec. Okay, here we are. It's time for the penultimate Champions League group game. And a massive one as well. We need to get at least a draw here away to Porto. As I said, we draw the game. We've got a good chance of still qualifying in second place. We'll go into the final uh, group game. Uh, three points behind Porto when we drew this one. And yes, seven, uh, there was plus seven better goal difference than us. But we are at home to Club Bruges and they're away to PSG. So that can easily be... Uh, well, I wouldn't say easily, but that certainly can be, uh, can be done there. So... Yeah, we draw this game, then we've got a little bit of confidence, a little bit of a chance going into the final group game of Holy Club Bruce. Yeah, Club Bruce lost to Holy PSG 3 0, um, which of course is what we expected. So let's just hope we can get at least a draw here. The way we played in the first leg, uh, the first game, sorry, we should have absolutely smashed them, as I said. And uh, we certainly can fancy our chances of getting at least a draw here. Hopefully we can. Uh, in terms of the team sheet, we're only three days ago we played Rapid Vienna, so a lot of tired players and a lot of changes to the first team here. Got an all new back four here. Babich comes in at right back in place of Brinkman. Duras comes in at left back in place of El Shiwi. And Gutierrez and Lettler come in for Vaca and uh, Ammerman. Also in the midfield, uh, Damaku and Grill remain in midfield. But Chukwebeka comes in for Peter Pind. Also, Beck comes in for uh, Ristinich. And that means Barry moves over to the left. And Heinrich comes in for Shurinov as well. As you see here on the bench. Lots and lots of tired players. So a little bit of a risk here, but still got a great team out. Uh, the defence is looking better, apart from Durast at left back. Uh, midfield could be a little bit better. Pinned and uh, Alexander missing there. But all in all, I'm quite happy with the team we've got out here. Can we beat Porto away from home, though? Let's find out. This is actually our fourth time playing uh, Porto in the series now. We're yet to beat them. We lost 3-1 twice. Uh, was it, I think it was the second season in Champions League qualifying to Porto. This, uh, the third game, though, was a lot different. Anyway, here's Heinrich. In for Shurinov today. He passed it out to Barry. Can we take an early lead here? Heinrich! Oh, Heinrich. I was a bit nervous when Heinrich in today in place of Shurinov, but he almost... <sighs> almost scored a goal there, but blasted over the bar. Got a long throw chance here as well. Babich to throw it in. Here's Beck. Heads it on. But Olafsson is uh, gathers the ball easily there, but we look like a better team early on here. As I said, we absolutely destroyed them in the first game played against them. Should have won the game 5 or 6 nil. Oh, my word. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? What is that? What is that? Not only does one defender miss his header, two defenders... What is... Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I hate for man to really do. hate for man sometimes. What is that? What on earth is that? Are you joking me? Are you... Are you joking me? Oh, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Well, we're 1-0 down in comical fashion here. Barrier of free kick. He's going to shoot from there. Of course he is. Uh, Olofsson saves it. It's gone for a uh, gone for a corner. I can't believe that. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. A bloke who's 6 for 8. He just... All he has to do is stand there and hit his head. Let's stand it. Anyway, we're 1-0 down again in comical fashion, as we always are. 
Again, our luck continues in the Champions League. Hilarious. Said not only just one header, uh, one defender misses header there, two defenders miss the header in the same in the same sequence. Okay, well, we haven't been very good in this first half, but we should be losing the game one 0 from that goal at least. But anyway, here's Barry. Can we create a chance here? No, because Barry can't pass the ball apparently. Here's Mark Rocker to Andre Silva, who got given an absolute gift earlier on. Here's Pedro. I can't believe that's the same Pedro who's played for Chelsea. Surely he's retired by now. Here's Mark Rocker to Oscar Andre Silva. Gutierrez, well, he doesn't look very good in this game, does he? He does not look very good in this game. Well, it's going to VAR, but I can't see what's wrong with that, to be honest. I think we're 2-0 down, and I think we're out of the Champions League. We are out of the Champions League. We're done now. Came back for 2-0 down against Rapid Vienna, but I can't see the same thing happening here, to be honest. Gutierrez has been pathetic in this game, as has Letner. Well, the whole team's been pathetic so far. Can we get a goal back for half time like the last game? Gutierrez, he scores. He makes up for some of his errors there. 2-1. Maybe I should get a little bit of confidence back now, but... Yes, it's been comical, hasn't it? It's been comical. Comical again. That first goal, I, I can't live it down. I can't live down that first goal. Unbelievable. Gutierrez scoring from a corner. Not really um, too much of a surprise. He is 6 for 8 after all. He should score a lot from corners, to be honest. Anyway, a strong end to the first half there for us. Getting a little bit better. So maybe there is a chance after all, but that first half... Was nowhere near good enough. Nowhere near good enough. Well, it's 2-0 down in the uh, last game there against Rapid Vienna in the first half. So, will history repeat itself here? Don't know. Oh, got a highlight here. If it goes 3-1, though, I think we're definitely, definitely toast, to be honest. Hold on. Barry wins the ball back there, though. Here's Barry on the counter. Heinrich make a run. He's offside now. No, just quickly. No, I think he's offside. Terrible pass, anyway. Way over hit there. Gutierrez wins ahead of this time. Back with the ball. Here's Babbage. Can we make it 2 2? Here's Beck. To Chukremica. Pass it to Babbage. Beck. Back to Damaku. Here's Grill. Out to Durast. Crosses it in. Chukremica. Oh, just why? Great header. Not known for his heading, but that was a great effort from Chukremica. Well, it's definitely a chance. Definitely a chance. A um, couple of changes. Heinrich off. Bring on Schoen off. Um, you know what? Barry can come off as well. Bring Ristinich on as well. Come on, boys. 30 minutes to go. Oh, chance of Porto there, but Fruchtel catches it very easily. Still a chance for us. Of course, even if we lose the game, we go into the final group game. A uh, chance of finishing third and get Europa League at least. As long as we beat Club Bruges at home. But we don't want that. We want Champions League first knockout round. Here's to Kremica. To Shurinov. To Grill. Get away, ref. Wrist and edge. Come on, boys. Grill. Wrist and edge. What are we doing? Someone shoot. What's Duras doing? What are you doing, pal? Where are you going? Goodness for that. It's Grill. Back to Durast. Ristonich, make it 2 2. Get in. He does make it 2 2. Get in. Two games in a row. We come back from 2 0 down to make it 2 2. Obviously, the game is nowhere near done yet. Come on. What character from the boys. Look at those Austria Vienna fans going mad as they should do. Durast, well, he looked a bit like a plonker in his highlight, but a lovely timed uh, ball there. And Ristonich just slots in the back of the net. I was moaning about, about risking it at the start of the episode, but he's got two goals in this episode now. Okay, time for the final change of the game, and I think it'll be a change in midfield, actually. Uh, I think I'll bring on Alexander. I think I'll bring him on for... I think I'll bring him on for Dabaku. Right, come on, 20 minutes to go. 2-2 two, two draw again. 2-0 down away from home. I'll take it. Of course, that means you have to beat Club Rouge quite convincingly in the final group game. I, I, I know we're capable of it. I know we're capable of it. Whether it happens or not is a different question, but as long as we draw the game, as I said, we give ourselves a chance. We give ourselves a chance. And 2-0 down, be 2-2 again is fantastic. But anyway, it's Gutierrez. Nothing stupid here, please, Gutierrez. He boots it long into no man's land. Now here's Florenzi. Now here's Grujic. To Martinez. To Oscar. He goes 3-2 now. I'll be devastated. Here's Pedro. He crosses it in. Oh, my word. Well, 
I thought that was free too. I have to be honest, I thought that was free too. Well, I've got a free kick just outside the box, so we know what this means. This means it's free too. Never miss. They, ne they never miss. It, it never happens. It never happens. Ever. I hope they fix that for FN23, because that, that is just a little bit unrealistic, isn't it? I know that a lot of the goals are going to go in from this position, but 9 out of 10, really? Always in the back of the net. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But you know what? Let's show some encouragement to the boys. You know what? I've encouraged the players, but also, we need to get at least one more goal. So let's just go for it now. Let's go a bit more attacking. Got a bit more attacking here. 30 minutes to go. Certainly enough time to uh, get an equaliser. But they've got another free kick just outside the box. So another strong chance to get back in the net. Here we go. 4 2. Oscar with the goal. Of course. FN22, every every single free kick just outside the box is a guaranteed goal. Well, I think it's safe to say that that is over now. It's over with now. Man, it's just, I hate I hate this situation here. Free kick just outside the box. As I said, it, it doesn't happen like that in real life, foot manager. Nine out of ten free kicks just outside the box do not go in the back of the net. Maybe half, at best. So they need to change that FN23. It's very unrealistic. Anyway, Shukremika with the ball. A goal here, and we've still got a chance. Unlikely, but still a chance. Here's Grill. He crosses it in. Goes over everyone, but Ristic's going to keep it in? Yeah, but he just gives it to them. When we get the ball back, here's Gutierrez. Letner. Here's Grill. To Beck. Can we get another goal back here? Come on. We need one at this point. But no, Beck gets the ball away. Babich goes in. Lundgren again. 5-2 uh, and it's definitely over. Martinez, Barca. But you know what? This is the most annoying thing. The fact that we couldn't beat Porto at home. Because we should have destroyed them. We should have absolutely destroyed them. So. That's why you went to win your games when you went to win them. Anyway, three minutes to go. Still, if we score a goal here. Then there's still a chance. Here's Beck. Don't get the ball away this time. Here's Shurinov. So, Jaquemica playing as a shadow striker now. Back to Beck. Here's Babic. To Jaquemica. Well, we try to get it in, but it's blocked. Oh, no, it's cleared. No, it's over with now. It's Pedro. To Groyet. Yeah, well, that's 5 2 as long as that's. Well, well, a couple minutes to go. Porto with a corner now. Been quite an exciting game. Back from 2 0 down to Jordan again, 2 2, but two late uh, free kicks. Uh, a headed goal now as well from Sergio Roberto. It's 5 2, so. Now it is definitely over with, unfortunately. So we're not going to qualify for the first knockaround again, which again is very disappointing because we should have won the first home game against Porto. If we would have beat Porto at home, then we'd have a strong chance of qualifying for the first knockaround. So that is very, very disappointing indeed. But hopefully we can beat Club Bruges at home in the final group game and qualify for the Europa League at least. But yeah, uh, we won't look back at this, uh, this game with much uh, good memories, that is for sure. 5-2 loss, very disappointing. It's a completely different team than we faced at home earlier on in the Champions League. So as you can see, Club Bruges, uh, sorry, Porto and PSG have qualified in the top two positions there. We look, it looks a lot worse than why it should be. It's bottom of the group with a minus 10 goal difference of two points. No, we haven't been that bad. We should have beat Club Bruges. Well, I say we should have beat. We could have beat Club Bruges away from home. But we 100% should have beat Porto at home. We'd have beat Porto at home. We'd be on four points right now. They'd be on seven points. Um... We still have a chance of qualifying in second place. Obviously, the goal difference looks terrible now. But if we'd have beat them the way we should have beat them as well, which would be like 4 or 5 nil, then, uh, yeah, we'd have a strong chance. Of oh, well, it was not meant to be, unfortunately. But still, we beat Club Bruges at home. Hopefully, we can and get a win in the Champions League this season again. And uh, hopefully, qualify for the Europa League. If we don't beat Club Bruges at home, then uh, we are out of the European football for the season. But anyway, guys... In terms of the next episode, I'll bring you back for that Cup Bruges game to see if we can beat them and win a Champions League game um, in the season. It's four games without a win now, which is a little bit concerning. Saying that, we have played PSG, Rapid Vienna and Porto in those games, but still, it is a little bit concerning. Uh, home to WSG to roll next, though. Hopefully, we can get back to winning ways there. We should do at bottom of the league. Uh, and I've got to play Amstetten away from home as well. So, hopefully, we can win the next two games very comfortably. And I'll bring you back for Club Bruges at home in the final Champions League group game and Salzburg at home as well in the last game before the winter break. So make sure you join for that one. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember, if you like the video, hit that like button for me. And also hit that subscribe button, please, guys. It really helped me out. Any much appreciated as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.